Hey, hey, hey. Uh, just got a, uh, probably a quick little video here. Uh, just some recent eBay pickups. Um, really just <laughs> was looking for deals. Uh, I had kind of a rough couple of weeks. Um, and I had to travel for business. And then uh, when I got home, we were without power for a while. Uh, you know, so... And then uh, about a day after we got power back, uh, we, we didn't have power for like five or six days. And uh, about a day after we got power back, we uh, went on vacation. Uh, so just kind of a hectic couple weeks. And uh, when I came out of that, I just uh, kind of doubled down on, on picking stuff up. I uh, got a bunch of Shop Goodwill purchases to uh, uh, go through and eventually... Uh, you know, record my findings on those as well, but anyway, uh, so these are the eBay pickups, uh, been trying to focus a little bit more on some vintage stuff, this is, uh, 1966 tops, uh, home run leaders for 65, with Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, and Billy Williams, I think that's pretty cool, all of this stuff was, you know, five dollars or less, uh, that does not include shipping uh, at Colavito and Francona. Uh, Colavito played for the the Tigers for a little while, uh, so just kind of starting to look at some of his cards now and pick some of that stuff up. And Francona, you know, yeah. Anyway. Uh, Tigers team card here, the, from 62, I believe, I believe that's correct, yep, 1962, and so we got, you know, several great Tigers players on there, uh, LK line, um, and Norm Cash, and, uh, some other good ones. I think Cash is on there, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, well. Anyway. <laughs> and this is a really nice 1978 TCMA, uh, the 1960s. I really like this set. Um, probably going to try and pick up more of these. Uh, this Al K line is a 9. Although. It gets an older PSA, and the the top portion seems to be a little like bent and misshapen, and it's weird to me. Like, how does that even happen? Anyway, so that's pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. What else we got? Uh, I've been trying to pick up all of the Justin Verlander rookies. Uh, this one was probably more than $5. I, I don't, I don't remember exactly. And I don't know what Balt is. I guess Baltimore. I don't know. Does it matter? No. Uh, Sam Howell. I had, uh, some high hopes for him coming into the season. So, wanted to pick up another one of his rookie cards. Like I said, all of this stuff was, was cheap. All of it was like five bucks or less. Um. I really like this Unleash set, so I'm starting to pick some of those up. This is a Henry Davis, and that's like the pink um, variation. I uh, got Jackson Job, who is just, uh, I think he's in double A now, possibly triple A. Just called up. Uh, 34 out of 99 for that. And got a uh, patch card of his as well. From Don Russ. Uh, those were like, I don't know, around a buck. Uh, cheap. Uh, I really like this Titan set. I picked this up um, before doing enough research to know that inserts don't count for the buyback program. It's still a sweet card, and I am a Acuna fan, so, you know, whatever. Now I got that. 
Uh, got a couple Adleys. This one's a Mojo Refractor from, uh, was it the Mega Boxes for Bowman? Uh, Rookie of the Year favorites. Very cool. And then I got this uh, Adley Titans card as well. <clears throat> it's a SGC9. Very nice and cheap. <laughs> I don't know why they're so cheap, but if you're looking to build your, your collection, now, is, now seems to be a really good time to do so. Things have been affordable. I picked up a bunch of Freddie Freeman cards uh, on the off chance that he might win MVP. Uh, so I picked up a bunch of the 2023 Topps Chrome cards, hoping, uh, you know, if he if he won, then it was it would have been a solid investment. But there's no way he's gonna beat out Adley or Acuna at this point. Uh, Christian Verico uh, from the this is a Mojo Refractor from Bowman 2022. That's a nine. He was one of the bigger prospects from that set, so just hoping uh, eventually good things will come from him as well. This was like three bucks. Just crazy. I mean, shipping's not included in any of that, but it's like, man, people give up on prospects too soon. You kind of kind of hold on and see how things go, you know. Got uh, Jackson Coar. I know his year has been maybe a little rougher than people were hoping, but uh, this is a numbered autograph rookie card, and uh, it was cheap. It too was cheap, and that's a PSA nine. So I'm gonna hold on to that and see what happens. And with that, they gave me a, a little bonus pack uh, of random cards. I guess we can go through them real quick. There's really nothing in here, but uh, why not? Longoria, Slam Dunk win, Baltimore, Nico Goodrum, uh, Nelson Cruz, Nemo, JD Martinez, Corey Seager, Stanton, uh, some 1990 Fleer. Fleer. Uh, Wade Boggs, pretty decent one. Kirby Puckett from Allen and Ginter. Todd Helton from Ginter. Uh, Shope. Garcia. Just kind of a weird collection of stuff here. But Doyle Alexander. Yeah, anyway. Um, and the last two cards, these just came yesterday, the day before, I don't know. Manuel quickly, he's he's about to make money. He's about to sign a pretty significant contract, I think. Uh, this is a pink parallel or variation of his rookie card from, I believe it's just Chronicles, probably. Yep. And then a futurist, uh, Mick Abel. He's still uh, a good prospect to watch. So, um, and that's it. Uh, that was it for the recent pickups. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, some good stuff, both for the PC and just uh, kind of looking towards the future and, and investing in some things uh, while the market is down for them. So, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Let me know what you think, and I'll uh, continue to talk in strange accents and do weird things. Anyway. Have a good day. Peace.